So welcome back to another FIFA 20 news show episode today. Of course, we're covering all the latest topics that occurred in the world of FIFA over the last seven days. It's going to be an interesting episode because we also have FIFA 21 news and we're going to be talking about some new boots added to FIFA 20 and much, much more. So stay tuned. And of course, if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like for me because it always helps the channel. And if you are new to the channel and you want to know all the latest news and updates for FIFA 20 and FIFA 21, make sure you subscribe today so you don't miss anything. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. You can check scores, tables, and news from across the world, any competition you want. I've been using this app for many, many years before they've even sponsored the channel. And it's the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to download it yourself, check out my link in the description. You can download it for free. So as you guys know, Title Update 11 brought in a lot of new things, including boots. And we've got some boots to take a look at here that I didn't show in my other video the other day. These are Adidas boots. The first one is the Adidas Copper 20.1s. These are the active red, cloud white, and core black colorway. Very nice looking boots. And then we have the Predators, the big boys, the Predator Mutator 20 Plus Edition. Core black, cloud white, and active red. So yeah, they're the latest boots there from Adidas. And if you want to know all the latest boots that got added, all the other brands and stuff, make sure you check out my last video. So apparently in Ultimate Team, there's this uh, tactic or something called the Overload Ball Side. And this is basically where your right back or your left back or something comes across as well and covers. I don't really know the full details of it you know I don't really use these kinds of tactics but apparently it's a bit OP online apparently there was a few complaints about it you know people using it and EA FIFA Direct came out on Twitter and said we are continuing to look into overload ball side and your feedback on it we'll have more to share about this in the upcoming weeks so let me know in the comments how bad this is like I don't use tactics I play offline as well so I don't really get impacted by many OP things you know in the game besides scripting but if you are affected by the overload ball side they're going to take their time in fixing it by the looks of it. So if you play Ultimate Team, this is a good thing to know. It could be useful in certain situations. But EA FIFA Direct put out a tweet that said, In case you missed it, moving forward you are now able to submit your Champions League rare items on SBCs that would normally require gold rare items only. And they put out an example, and it's only certain SBCs that would have this kind of requirement anyway. But this one was an 80 plus upgrade example. It says exchange a squad for a gold player rated 80 overall or higher. And in the requirements, it says exactly gold players. Underneath that, it says uh, minimum 10 players, rare, or your way for Champions League rare. So that is the new addition. You can actually throw in a Champions League rare instead of just a gold rare. Now, this could be useful to get rid of Champions League cards in certain situations. And, you know, it's always good to be able to save some coins as well for doing SBCs. So, you know, it could be useful. So EA FIFA Direct can be useful at times, but comes under fire at times as well. This week, they came under fire for this tweet. And they basically put out, you beat your best mate, 7-1 in FIFA, do you? Never talk about it, brag about it for years, dab 13 times for good luck, hug it out. Now this tweet was criticised because one, this is an EA FIFA Direct account where they're supposed to talk about the main stuff in the game, not do marketing tactics like this. This should be on like EA Sports FIFA's normal channel, not this one. And then number two, the game has bad servers. A lot of issues, career mode issues and stuff like that. And instead of talking to the people about what the issues are, they put out this kind of tweet that doesn't really have no place on that account. In my opinion, EA FIFA Direct should be communicating the core issues, you know, stuff that they're working on, trying to fix. Also accepting feedback like the Premier League broadcast package getting stuck for many, many months now on the screen. I don't know why. That, sh that is a thing that just ruins the experience. And yeah, instead they're cracking jokes on the account. So it looks like some MLS teams have been scanned for FIFA 21. I've got evidence of one club. I don't know about the others yet, but I got this message from a Columbus Crew fan page on Instagram. And he goes, Columbus Crew are getting a bunch of face scans. Other MLS teams are as well. EA is at an MLS preseason tournament in Arizona. That includes Columbus Crew, Real Salt Lake, Sporting Kansas City, New York Red Bulls, and Houston Dynamo. They are doing face scans at the tournament. So this is the clip. This is the current evidence we have of the event. It's definitely the EA scan booth. The guy filming is a player from Columbus Crew. His name is uh, Worm Gore or something. And the guy in the booth is Eunice Mokhtar. So you would presume that more players from Columbus Crew did get scanned as well. But there was no evidence of any other players or teams at the moment. Just Columbus Crew. But... According to my source, you know, there was other teams at the event there. It was like a preseason event in Arizona, so EA must have scanned some more clubs as well. I wouldn't be surprised if more MLS scans come into the game. Over the last few seasons, we've seen EA do face scans for clubs like New York City FC. I think LAFC was one as well. Maybe the Galaxy as well was a few seasons ago in FIFA 18 or something. 
and I think there'll be more coming in Fever 21. Of course, recently they just updated the kits for the MLS, and they do cross-promotion with the MLS, and they've got the EMLS. So there is a lot of partnerships already formed with EA and the MLS, so it doesn't surprise me if a lot of teams from that competition will be getting face updates in Fever 21. And I just took a look at the MLS sponsors website, and EA is listed as one of their partners. So don't be surprised if a lot of teams get scanned this year for Fever 21. So there could be a brand new Brazilian stadium coming into FIFA 20 with the Copa Libertadores DLC in March. There was a photo posted by Raissa Simplic. Uh, I think she's a journalist or something. I don't know. She's in Brazil, I believe. Now, the photo that she posted was a selfie of herself in the stadium. So it's a bit pointless putting it here. But the caption is the most important part of the photo anyway. And she says that it's always too good to record at the Maracanã, which is a stadium in Brazil. It's a very big stadium. In the post, she also tagged FIFA 20, which hints that she's there for a FIFA event. And also in the comments, one person said, is there going to be the Maracanã in FIFA? Please tell me yes. And the girl says, uh, yes, there will be. Now, we don't know if she's just joking because the guy says, please tell me yes. So maybe she says yes just to tell him that. But it does make sense in a way because the Copa Libertadores 2020 final is at the Maracanã Stadium uh, this year. So EA usually puts in the stadium that hosts the final in the DLC. We saw that with the Women's World Cup. So it does make sense for the Maracanã to be in the game. And it's also the stadium, I believe, of Flamengo. But I do expect this stadium to be in the game just simply because of the fact that EA usually throws in a stadium with the DLC and it's usually the final stadium. So let's move on to the Winter Refresh. This is the next big thing in Ultimate Team. We've got six different things here. We've got Icon Moments, 89 Icon Moments that highlight each Icon at the peak of their powers. Winter Refresh Team, a select group of players with tailored permanent upgrades to help improve your foot club. Most improved players, new overalls for the top 50 most improved players this season. I reckon they could have done more than 50. New milestone player objectives, new objectives to unlock upgraded milestone players. New league SBC rewards, third player added to select league SBCs during winter refresh. And special packs, Twitch Prime player pick pack. On the EA website, there's a bit of info here about the winter refresh. It says, uh, join us for one of the biggest content updates of the entire year in Ultimate Team. Brand new icon moments, blah, blah, blah. Foot 20 icon moments, a brand new item for all 89 icons that celebrates a special moment in their career, which propelled them to the top of the footballing world. The icon moment item represents the highest rated version of an icon in Foot 20. And according to EA, these icon cards are going to be in packs for the rest of FIFA 20. The Winter Refresh Team. Introducing the all-new Winter Refresh Team with real-world clubs making signings to help improve their squads. Now is the time for you to do the same. Each Winter Refresh Team player will receive a uniquely tailored permanent upgrade designed to help improve your foot club by filling either a position gap and blah blah blah. The Winter Refresh Team will be in packs for a limited time. League Squad Building Challenges Update. Beginning from Winter Refresh through the course of FIFA 20, each league SBC will be updated with the addition of a new player to the player pick reward granted for completing the group SBC. League Objectives Player Update. During Winter Refresh, every league objective player will be updated with a new upgraded version to work towards. This will be the final league objective player upgrade the player will receive during FIFA 20. The top 50 most improved player upgrades. The top 50 most improved players in foot will have their ratings permanently updated to reflect their outstanding form in the first half of the season. Only new base player items found in packs will have updated ratings, but certain existing in-form items will have their ratings automatically updated. Now, if you want to know the full list, there is a forum there, but I'm sure you guys probably know by now. It did come out a few days ago. You've got the likes of Daniel James, Jamie Vardy, Mason Mount, and other Premier League players. There's also some French League players there as well. Bundesliga players like Timo Werner and Haaland. I think Haaland's in that list. Now, there's also one more thing, new foot player additions. Over 100 players will be added to foot over the course of the winter refresh with some transferring back from leagues or clubs not available in FIFA, and some making their first appearance in the game. And as you can see, this is the full list. I'm not going to go through every name, you know, but I think I saw Daniel Sturridge in there. And then there's a few other players from different leagues and stuff, uh, some from Australia as well. That's basically it for that one. And then there's also some frequently asked questions. It's more like disclaimers in a way. But if you want to read that, you can pause it and take a look. And there was also one more thing with the Winter Refresh. Some players got weak foot and skill moves upgrades. As you can see, there's another list there of certain players getting upgrades to the skill moves. 
and upgrades to the weak foot as well. There's too many to talk about, but it's there if you want to take a look. Now, in terms of title updates this week, there was a new one for FIFA 20. If you missed it, title update number 11 came out. It brings in new faces, a few fixes to each game mode. New balls and kits were added as well. Basically, check all my latest videos from the last couple of days. It covers everything you need to know. There was also a squad update, but it wasn't too big of a, a squad update. It was just a very, very small one. The main thing this week was the new faces and the new additions to the game. This week, the ECPL got announced. The CPL is, of course, the Canadian Premier League. And this is basically the esports version of it. You can sign up and you can participate for the clubs in the competition. I think the prize pool is like $17,000. Now, some people are thinking because the CPL is now involved with FIFA, is there a chance now that the Canadian Premier League could become an official league in FIFA 21 or beyond? And of course, there's always a possibility for future leagues, but nothing has been confirmed with that so far. So if you remember on my last news show, EA made a big mistake where they gave out a message to people saying that they want a... Frankie Dion card, which was a Team of the Year version, for watching their esports event that happened last weekend. And uh, basically they said, sorry, we gave out that message to the wrong people, you do not have a Dion card. They came out this week and rectified the issue and they did a good thing. And they said earlier this week some players got an incorrect message stating that they have received Team of the Year Frankie Dion by watching the FIFA E-Club World Cup live, but not the item itself. In this instance, we have granted the item to the players who saw this message. Thanks for your patience. So if you did see that message last week, you should have the card by now. If you didn't see the message, you ain't getting the card, unfortunately. So let's talk about some foot updates. There's a new team of the week out, and it features players like De Vrij, Luis Alberto, De Jong, Mbappe, Voland, Ben Yedda as well, and a few other guys as well. A few SBCs were added in this week. These are just a few of them. First one is Player Moments Arthur. This one is going for 145,000 coins if you do it from scratch. We've got Courtois, which was the player of the month, La Liga card. And this one's going for 57,000 coins. We've got player of the month for the Bundesliga, Harlan card. This one is going for 816,000 coins. And then there's also an 83 rated guaranteed card. It's got a value of 10.1k. And then finally, there's a big transfer card for Zaniolo. This one is the one where you have to unlock it through the objectives and then put it in. So this is basically the objectives for this card. You have to do a few things. You guys know how it works by now. And that's basically it for the foot updates. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out this FIFA 20 video, and I'll see you next time.